Hey there, my friend. Welcome to the channel. I'm Petula, your host here at All Things Agile. In today's question, I received it in many different shapes and formats before. And today I'm going to do it in the name of Rebecca. And she is asking, do I need to do the daily scrum with my teams if we don't use scrum? And I really love the question because I think it goes about so many different things. So let's try and answer it in a very short, simple way. Do you need a daily scrum if your team is not even doing scrum? No. <laughs> so no, you don't. But now let's explore and, and talk a little bit more to make it more interesting. So the daily scrum is called daily scrum because you meet every day to synchronize. You plan and you say, wow, now what do we do? Are we going to make it or not? Are we on track or not? Do we have problems? Do we have risks? And that is not something that only is done in scrum. You can have that in many other frameworks. And the interesting thing is that would you need to synchronize then agile or not agile scrum or not scrum? Do you need to synchronize every day? Not really, but then I don't know who said that sentence, but there was someone who said uh, something like, do you know how projects get six months late in their schedule one day at a time? And we're not going to debate today, you know, the whole thing about product versus project, but the reality is when you have target dates, you can be late and you don't become late suddenly of many weeks small missteps, things that we forget, things that we don't think about, that all contributes to being late. So what is the best approach then? I always think that you should consider why are we synchronizing to make sure that we are on track? On track about what? And that can vary depending on your team. And also I like to consider the timing of your synchronization can vary a lot. So here are a few examples. And in this example, I'm going to talk about, um, I work for a huge financial institution and investment bank, and we were using our own version of Agile-ish in there. And we would synchronize like this. My team was distributed in London, Tokyo, Montreal, and New York. And at every change of shift in the corresponding location, we would synchronize and the person whose shift was ending or the parts of the team, actually, we would get together on the phone and say, here's what happens. Those are the problems and everything is fine. We're a software development team, but in a world where you develop and you support where you develop. So we needed to be really constantly connected. So I was meeting up in the morning. I was meeting up in the afternoon and I was meeting up as I left my shift in the evening. Another example is now in my company, and this is not going to be a software development example at all. So I have a very small team and I meet with certain people regularly once a week, and then we synchronize synchronously throughout the week. And when I am, for example, in campaigns or launching of products and certain similar things, I actually have a part of the team that I meet every single day to know the numbers, to know the results. And that's just how my business works. And sometimes even twice a day, depending on how I'm doing the events or the campaigns or etc. So I hope that you can see with this that the needs of your team, the type of work that you do, the dynamics of your business, and even a, a specific moment on your product, on your campaigns, all that interferes with do you meet daily? more than once a day, once a week only, and that is perfectly fine. The whole important piece of synchronizing is just to make sure we always catch that we are not on track early enough so that we are not super off track with anything or that someone is maybe blocked for a long time, needing help, never asked for it. Though other than that, you were more than free to decide how and when your team synchronizes, and that doesn't make you more or less agile just because you do it daily or because you call it a daily scrum. So Rebecca, I hope this answered your question. And if you're not Rebecca and you're watching this, I hope this clarified the whole uh, conundrum, daily scrum, daily or not for you. And uh, if you have any other questions regarding this topic or any other topic, let me know either in the comments down below or go into the newsletter and make sure that you reply to me there. And it will be my pleasure to come up with answers for the questions that you have. Other than that, I'm gonna end this video right here. I hope you like it. If you do, 
give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you find that those videos are useful for you, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!